Hey guys, Soup Tentmoff here, and I'm here with another Xcode tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the text in a UI label programmatically, and it is really, really easy. So we're going to start a single view application, and I'm going to call this label. Save it on the desktop. Um, here we go. and open this up, right, there we go. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to go into our viewcontroller.xib file. This is our interface file. So open that up. And we're going to drag and drop a UI label into our view. And you can make this a bit bigger, you can edit the font and so on. Um, so we can just do that. Actually, a nice font is called High TSC. Uh, I quite like that font. So, but just change it to whatever font you want and place it in the middle. Save that. So now we're going to come into our viewcontroller.h file and start coding. So, where it says UI viewcontroller, add and or open and close two curly brackets, and in between the curly brackets, we're going to add in an IB outlet. So, type in IB outlet space UI label space star, now give your label a name. So I'm going to call mine, um, I don't know, label uh, label 1, semicolon save. Right. Now we're going to add in a simple IB action for a button. So basically when the button is pressed, the text in the label is going to change. So type in IB action, and now give your button a name. So I'm going to call this change text, semicolon save. Now copy your IB action into your viewcontroller.m file, this is the implementation file. Copy this in, delete the semicolon, and open and close two curly brackets, and in between the curly brackets, type in the following code. So type in the name of your label, so mine is called label, label one, uh, dot text, space, equals, space, at, open and close two quotation marks, and put a semicolon. Save that. Now, in between your two quotation marks is the text that you want the label to change to. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put, um, I don't know, hello world. Save that. Now let's come back to our viewcontroller.xib file. So we're simply going to add in a button as well, a round rack button, and it's going to be called uh, change. Now click your files owner, and click the connections tab in the uh, menu here. Connect your label one outlets to your label and connect your change text received action to your button. A menu will now pop up and now simply select touch up inside. Save that. So it really is very simple. So let's just start from our view control that age file. So we've added an, a label or we've defined a label and we've called it label one. We've added a button called change text. And when the button change text is pressed, it changes our label one from whatever text it's currently saying to hello world, right? It's really very simple. So we've connected our code, we've coded our pro program, so let's run this app and it should all work perfectly fine, which it does, no errors whatsoever. There we go, build succeeded. Just wait for the iOS simulator to open up. Now this code can also be used for a UI text view as well, it's not just a label. Uh, so a UI text view is basically a small chunk, uh, a smaller sort of box, and it's a scrollable view. So you can put a whole paragraph of text in, in a small space, and the user can scroll through that, um, through that little space and view all the text. Uh, so this code works perfectly with that as well. It works perfectly on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, and iPad, and it works on all versions of iOS. Let me just type in my password here. There we go. Sorry about my Mac being a bit slow, but uh, nonetheless it should work. Alright, here we go. So we've got a simple label, and it simply says label, and we've got a button called change. If we now press the button, boom, it says hello world, right? It's so easy. So there we have it, guys. That is how you can change the text which appears in a UI label, or in fact a UI text view as well, uh, programmatically. 
right? So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you next in my next video. Bye.